And today I'm going to be showing you how to block your piece. So I've already started to block mine and I have these really large foam mats that I use for blocking. And I also have some blocking pins here. I really like these ones, but I don't have too many of them. So I also just have some just regular pins as well that I use when I'm blocking. So what I do is I lay my piece out and I start by, I use a spray bottle. You could dampen it in the sink and get it wet and lay it out. I just don't want to have it oversaturated. So I just lay it down and I, and I do wet it really well, but I just use my spray bottle to wet it. And I have to measure as I pin. So generally I will start at the bottom of my garment. So I've already measured out. This one's 25 inches wide for my size. Now just pin to whatever your size is. So I start there. I start with the bottom measurement. So I've measured out 25 and then I pin it to that measurement first. Next, I want to go up and measure my side. And if you have mats with lines on them, that's even better because you know you're staying straight. But I try to keep my measuring tape as straight as possible. And then I go up to my the next length, which is 23 inches. So I've pinned that out and then I work up the one side, pinning it evenly. And then what we want to do is go over and you can kind of measure up. So here's 25. I know my piece needs to come out to the 25 mark. So if you don't have lines, you can kind of double check as you work up that you're getting it pinned the right measurement. Now I usually start from the bottom and work up, not going randomly like that. And then I just work up the piece, making sure to get it all pinned. And then what you do basically is let this dry, fully dry, before you take your pins out. Sometimes you have to fiddle. So once I get this section done, then I'll go up and move to the sleeves. So the sleeves will need to go out to their measurements and make sure they measure the correct width. So I'll just do the same for them as well. It's hard to show that all on camera, but with your pattern, you're going to have the dimensions of the size you're working on. So you'll have each of those measurements indicated in your chart. So go make sure you check your schematics chart and just follow along for your size what you're blocking to. And now I only have four of my large mats, so I'm going to have to do this in stages. So I'll block the back and then I'll block I can block uh, my front panels both at the same time on my big mats here if you have more then you can block all your pieces at once 
but if not you'll have to do it in sections as well with me and these are really easy to get you can pick them up you can go on Amazon or Walmart has them okay so I've finished pinning up at the top so my sleeve depth was 10 inches for my medium size and the length of the sleeve is 11 inches and that's the same for all the sizes so I measured that out sprayed and pinned so everything is now pinned right out to measurements my shell pattern is nice and pulled apart so it's going to lay nice and flat and give a really nice press look when this is all finished drying. So now what I'll do is I'm just going to leave this, I'm going to let it dry overnight and then I'll need to block my front panels also in the morning and then allow them to dry. And then once I have all of that finished, I'm going to meet you back up again. So I need you to be doing the same thing, blocking out all of your pieces and allowing them to fully dry before you remove your pins. Okay, so I'm working on blocking my front panels and I really wanted to come on here and just show you the difference in my blocked panel and my panel that's not blocked. You can see that the panel on the left is very small in comparison. It almost looks wrinkled. It doesn't look flat or straight. And the piece, once it's blocked, it's now out to the measurements that it's supposed to be. So when you're looking at your piece, when you're making it, you could be thinking, oh, this looks way too small. It's not going to fit. But then when you actually block the piece, you can see it's like so much bigger than the piece that I've been working on. And when it comes off, like it's so nice. My back panel is so nice and flat. It has a pressed look to it and it's ready to be worn once we seam all this together. Now also measuring to make sure your measurements are exact to the schematics is really important because we want our back panel to match up with our front panel. So when we're seaming it, if I stretch this out that it's too long, my sides are not gonna match up. If I don't stretch my sleeves out to the right length, they're not gonna match up, as well as that top seam that we'll be seaming as well across the shoulder and the top of the sleeve is where we'll be seaming. So it's very important that you look at your schematic, you get your measuring tape, and you stretch it all out exactly to the correct measurements. So just make sure you do a good job here and then that is going to ensure that your piece comes out beautifully and you can wear it beautifully and it's gonna fit correctly.